Austin, Texas, how the hell are you? Great to be back. Oh, man, it's so great to be back in Austin, Texas, man. I just have so much fun when I'm here. I see so many friends. Thanks for coming out. I was in Bakersfield, California, Wednesday night. Boy, you people think you're stupid. <laughs> I, I, last time I was in Austin was the first time I've ever blatantly been offered a three-way. <laughs> and, and I turned it down because it was one of those deals where it was two dudes and me. <laughs> I don't even watch Two and a Half Men. <laughs> We flew in from uh, Los Angeles and we were going through LAX and going through screening. And uh, this guy's just losing his fucking mind because I guess he doesn't travel that much. He's not used to this equipment. And he's just going crazy. You, you know, you can have fun with that. You can do what I do. I take two Viagra and demand a pat down. <laughs> What's that in your past, Mr. White? I have no idea. <laughs> You're gonna need to pat that down. <laughs> pat it back up again. <laughs> Give it a couple twists, see if it's hooked to anything. <laughs> you might wanna go wash your hands. <laughs> I started this tour this summer in Las Vegas and while I was in Vegas, I broke this tooth off at the gum line in an alcohol swimming pool related incident. <laughs> I had a show to do in four hours. I was drunk and missing a tooth. <laughs> it looked a little unprofessional. <laughs> Not to me, but to the fine folks at the Mirage, it goddamn sure did. I told him, I said, you gotta get a uh, dentist to patch this up. I will not go on stage looking like this because this tooth doesn't look that big until it's gone. <laughs> they found an all night dental school. <laughs> this dentist is 14 years old. <laughs> he hooks me up to the gas and I don't feel anything. I'm like, dude, you need to turn this gas up. And he goes, there are regulations, the state of Nevada, state of which, code one, second four. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> And I asked him, I said, where'd you go to college? He goes, Brigham Young. I'm like, fuck, dude, turn it up to Catholic. <laughs> Never let a Mormon set your buzz level. <laughs> Never, don't do it. And I'll tell you why, they don't understand fucked up the way you and I do. <laughs> they don't, they're guessing and they're shitty guessers. When he got through with the procedure, you could still tell which tooth he worked on because it was a different color. <laughs> My teeth looked like Indian corn. <laughs> I had to go to my dentist who's pitching veneers for my teeth because he says I'm doing widescreen, high definition television, which is nobody's friend, man. Every actor I know in Hollywood would rather have low definition, narrow screen TV so they look thin and fuzzy instead of clearly fat. I would like to see my dick on a widescreen TV. <laughs> that way I can quit looking at it through my reading glasses. <laughs> Put these on, baby. <laughs> it looks bigger than it feels. I had no idea how expensive veneers were, man. They wanted to do eight teeth on the top and six teeth on the bottom, and I was like, well, how much does that cost? And he says, $27,500. Fuck, how much is dental school? <laughs> I'll teach my mother how to do it. <laughs> You're going back to college, Mom. I never went to college. Well, this would be fun for you then.